Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to have a quick practice session of the XLOOKUP function in Excel. If you are new to XLOOKUP function, I recommend checking out my other video where I explain the XLOOKUP function in detail. I will leave the link in the description below. And you can also watch this video for a quick practice session. Also, you can download this Excel sheet from the link in the description below. Now, let's get started. So, here we have a sample data set of product ID, product name, category, price and stock. And we want to find the price of a product based on the product ID. So, let's say the product ID is P004, which is the refrigerator. And we want to find out its price. So, it's very simple. We'll use the XLOOKUP formula. And right here equals XLOOKUP. And then inside XLOOKUP, what I want. So, I want this product ID. I'm looking for this product and then comma, lookup array. Where does this product ID come from? It comes from this array. So, I'll select this one and then another comma. What we want to return, we want to find the price. So, I will select the price column. Yeah, and that's it. If I close the parenthesis and hit enter, we have the price of the product ID P004, which is $35,000. It's correct. Let's say uh, for a P005 and hit enter and it says $10,000. Okay, it's working fine. But as you can see, if I enter a product ID that is not in the data set, let's say P007, which is not here, right? If I hit enter, it gives some error. So in that case, I want here to have a text of something like not found. So here, right after this one, I'll have another comma. And then we have this if not found. So here I'm simply going to type the mes message not found and close it and hit enter. And as you can see, P007 is not found. And let me just change it to P002 and hit enter. And it says exact $20,000. Now, let's go to the next sheet here on uh, sheet 2. As you can see, we have the sample data of employees and their salaries. And here we have the salary range and tax bracket. So, uh, for any of the employee, I'll enter the employee name here. And I want to find out the salary of that employee. And I want to also find out how much tax that employee has to pay or basically the tax bracket. So, let's first uh, get the salary of employee. So, to get the salary of employee, I'll write equals x lookup and then we have the lookup value i'm looking for this employee whatever is here and then comma lookup array which means where does this employee come from it comes from this data so i'll select the employee column and then comma what we want to return we want to return the salary of the employees right and that's it and then i can just uh, close the parenthesis and hit enter and we have the salary of this employee that is $85000 if i change the name to some other employee let's say priya and if I hit enter, we can see that it has $60,000, exactly the same. So it's working fine. Now, the next part is to look for the tax bracket. So for Priya, the salary is $60,000, which is greater than this $50,000. So the uh, Priya's tax bracket should be 10%. So how do we calculate that? I'll write here equals X lookup. And then what we are exactly looking for. We are looking for this value. All right. Salary value. All right. And then a comma. Now, where does this salary value come from? Not this one. We are not looking from here. We are looking for the tax bracket. So, this salary value comes from here. So, I'd select this column. All right. And then another comma. Then we have the return array. What we want to return. In this case, we want to return the text bracket. So I'll select this one. So this array of text bracket. And then a comma. If says if not found, so let's just skip it. So I'll write another comma. And then after it says match mode. So in this case, we are looking for exact match or next larger item. So which is represented by one. So I'll write here one and then I'll just close the parenthesis and hit enter. And it says 0.1. So we need to change this format. So here I'll go and change this format to percentage. If we hit enter, as you can see, it says 10%. We can also remove these two decimal places by clicking on this one. As you can see, decrease decimal. So Priya has to pay a tax of 10%. Pretty simple. So let's look at some other employee. Let's say Rohan Singh. 
hit enter, Rohan Singh has a salary of $70,000 and uh, he has to pay a tax of 10%. Now, let's take the last example. So, here, click on this sheet 3. And inside the sheet 3, we again have this product ID, product name, category, price and stock. And we uh, are looking for multiple conditions this time. So, I'll write here the name of the product ID. So, once I write the product ID, I want the name of the product, category, price and stock very easy right so to use this i'm going to write equals x lookup and inside the x lookup we are looking for the lookup value in our case it is the product id all right it's the product id and then a comma and then what are we looking for next it is the lookup value so where does this product id come from it comes from this one so i'll select this column a2 to A7 and I'll press F4 to fix it and then comma and what is the return array? Now here in this case our return array is going to be everything because we want the product name, category, price and stock. So I'm going to select all of this data and again this is B2 to E7 and I'm going to press F4 to fix it and then I'll write parenthesis and hit enter. And as you can see, P003, product name is Blender, Kitchen, $5,000 and stock is 50. If I change and write something like P006 and hit enter, it's the washing machine and we have the exact same data. But again, just like we did in the first example, if I write a product that doesn't exist, it's going to throw an error. To fix this error, we are going to have a if not found message. In that case, we can simply write uh, not found and just hit enter so p009 not found but if we look at p001 it's there so that will be enough for this video don't forget you can find this practice sheet link in the description below if you found this video helpful make sure to like it share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and i'll see you in the next one